Alright y'all, welcome to the first ever Toy Talk Tuesday. Um, we might be switching it to a Toy Talk Thursday, but um, you know, it's just the first one. Let's, let's roll the dice a little bit. Uh, we've got a lot of stuff to talk about. A lot of new releases, um, a lot of new announcements, a lot of money that we're all going to be spending and uh, that won't be in our wallets soon. So uh, let's crack into it. I have uh, the list of stuff on my phone, but you know, I need my blue lights to really read everything correctly. Okay. Got to protect your eyes, people. Got to protect your eyes. Got some cool stuff from Storm Collectibles. If you're a Mortal Kombat guy, you already know they make the good stuff for you. But their newest one they're putting out is a pre-order for Reptile. Uh, it's currently on Big Bad right now. It's got the nice alternate lizard face, a really sweet tongue spit out effect, and his little whirlball thing that comes in there as well too. Uh, I believe he's just under 90 bucks on Big Bad. Should be shipping at the end of the year. Great one for the collection. If you like Reptile, it's, it's an easy buy. Me, I like my reptilian boys, so I'm just going to buy him anyways, you know, he'll fit on the shelf somewhere. Alright folks, you know, we'll just, we're just going to breeze past this one, I know it's not important to everybody, but you know, Cosmic Legions is coming out, a lot of people like to customize, so these might be something you want. Uh, McFarlane, as we know, has the Warhammer license, and he will be putting out some more Ultra Space Marines for us. I don't think they're going to be grayscale this time, but they're coming out in a nice, vibrant blue. I do like the look of these Warhammer figures. I haven't bought them because I don't trust McFarlane articulation and I've been hurt too much in the DC multiverse line, but uh, we'll see. I'll see them in hand and we'll see how we go with those. But the real kicker with this wave that's coming out is the fact that we're getting some gene stealers and some orcs in mech suits. <gasps> Sorry. You know me. Look at the YouTube name, Mech Arrive. I freak out when humanoids are in metal suits. It's just, it's just how it is. Uh, these are pretty cool. We're getting a couple variants for them, and we're also getting some grayscale versions. So if you're a customizer, you're good with paint, completely unlike me, uh, you'll have some fun with these for sure. The Gene Sealers are also pretty sweet. I don't know jack about Warhammer except some of their video games, because uh, maybe giving out that license willy-nilly to game developers. But, um... The one I played had gene sealers in it, and they were pretty terrifying. It was a game where you had to lock doors behind you and weld them shut to keep the hordes of them from coming in and destroying your entire team. I only really played like three levels. It's very hard, but a lot of fun. So at least I know a little bit about the license for this one so I can justify if I buy a McFarlane figure, but these will look sweet with the Cosmic Legions. I guarantee you. Uh, what else this uh, fucking Todd dude got? What else he got? Oh, <laughs> I know y'all like Todd remolds and re-releases. Now he's doing a Azriel and Batman two-pack based on the pretty great Black Label White Knight comic book. Uh, everyone knows Todd finds a very Batman-specific story, uh, falls deeply in love with it, and then says, I'm only making plastic versions of this for the next few months. And it seems like White Knight's been one of those. Uh, I'm not a big fan of it. I really, 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 really hate the proportions on that Batman. Those Jojo arms are freaking disgusting. <laughs> Whew. But uh, we can't dive too deep into that. The accessories are pretty cool, the little uh, swords that comes with it. But the real kicker is that dope little flame base that comes with it. Now everyone knows I don't like Todd. I don't like to buy his stuff. But every now and then, every now and then, he ropes me in, and I buy stupid shit. It's just the name. He knows we're collectors. We know it's the rule of cool. Um, yeah. I really just buy McFarlane stuff for the vehicles and the accessories and sometimes the stands if I find them on clearance at Walmart. Those Gene Stealers are going to be going out uh, for 20 bucks, but the Mech Orcs, I'm a little interested now because they're at the $40 price tag, so they're probably going to be a bit bigger scaled than the rest of them. But they say they're 7 inch scale, so I'm not sure. We'll have to see them in hand. Alright, I don't personally collect Masters of the Universe that much, but uh, I have recently bought a Skeletor from Revelations, and I kind of like the mold on it, so we'll see. But that's what got me into it, the Revelations line. And it looks like from PowerCon that was over this weekend, it looks like they're going to start keeping that line because they already announced that they're going to be using those cards for 
other versions of figures. The original concept art series for Barbarian and Viking He-Man and Skeletor, I think. It's just all based on their original concept art, made into plastic toy form. And they also are doing another She-Ra version, Princess of Power, and some more stuff. It's a very exciting time. I don't know. I just like toys for the sake of them being toys. I don't really care about the IPs. If it's a good mold, it's a good sculpt, the character looks good, there's fun paint, I'm gonna buy it. Uh, with that said, they had a lot of new reveals for the rest of the Revelations wave. Now, I don't know, once again, anything about Masters of the Universe, and my first impression was this Revelations show on Netflix. I went into it enjoying it a lot. I know a lot of people weren't happy because He-Man died, and they think it's a He-Man show, but, you know, from an outsider's perspective, ha! I don't see He-Man's name on the title, bro. I just see Masters of the Universe and uh, not He-Man. A lot of people were upset. Uh, spoilers, I guess. Skip, like, however, head. When I stop doing this, that's when I'll be done spoiling stuff. Uh, <laughs> um, He-Man died once in the beginning and another time in the last episode, and everyone was pissed because, you know, he was about to activate his, you know, He-Man bullshit and, you know, power up and save the day. He died, everyone's mad about it. Screw all that. Kill your protagonist. It's more fun. Watch more foreign movies. Only America has the fucking good guy win at the end of the day. It makes stories more interesting and less predictable. Uh, spoilers are done. But they got my dream figure from when I watched the show. That, uh, cyberpunk, uh, computer-worshipping Triclops. And one of the things I really like about this line, uh, cut, cut. Alright. <laughs> One of the things I really like about this line is uh, how customizable these guys are. Let's get some light on them real quick. Uh, I don't know, they've got all these fun goods on them. You can pop his head off, he's got a separate collar, he's got a separate cape you can use. Um, and the Sue Triclops guy, he's basically two figures in one. He comes with his normal look that most Master of the Universe collectors are used to, and then the cyberpunk look that my ass is only used to with his robes and his hat. And they're also giving that variant to uh, Trap Jaw as well. Um, fun stuff. I also, uh, there's a little companion that uh, Tila had in the show. She was black, she had the mask. But anyway, she looks cool, she's cyberpunky. She's also in this wave, and it looks nothing else like anything in the wave. So I'm very excited, the little creative freedom they're kind of getting with this. I like the little rhythm they're finding. It's getting new collectors like me into it, and I don't even like He-Man, so, hey, that's a solid. You're probably still not going to get me to buy a He-Man figure, but I'll buy the villains, because, you know, rule of cool. I buy more Corb... I buy more Corb... I buy more... I buy more Cobra Troops than Jack Joe's. Oh my god, that was a lot. Whew. On top of that, there was some more, uh, PowerCon exclusives types that they did on the Mattel creation site at the same time. There are some accessories for your Castle Grayskull, I don't really care about that. But, I care about black representation in my action figures, and Sunman had a nice pre-order go out. So, I copped one of those for myself and one for my mom. I hope she doesn't watch this, because that's going to spoil the Christmas gift that she's going to get. But, <laughs> great stuff, it was $30, it came with a, a redesigning of the original comic book that went out when it was created, and, um, you know, the person that uh, gave the okay for it at Mattel is a Detroit native. CCS major. You know I love it. You know I love Detroit representation. So, Insta buy. Love it. It already sold out, like, sold out within like five minutes, I think. Thankfully, I was like feverishly waiting with my debit card to get it in, because for whatever reason, Mattel doesn't let you put in credit card information if you just make an account. Like, you have to purchase something to make your credit card. It was really weird. So, I was very nervous I was going to miss out on it. But thankfully, I was able to snag two. That was the limit that you had. So, good stuff. I think that's it for Mattel. Let's see what my phone says. Let's see what my phone says. That is it. Moving on. All right, all right. Time for the shit that really got me into all this other crap. Uh, Marvel Legends. The Sentinels are finally shipping out for a lot of people. Um, a lot of people are getting them in hands. I have not gotten my two yet. I'm waiting for my baby. I don't know when my twins are coming, but um. I was at the thrift store yesterday, in the baby section, looking for clothes of how I'll dress him, and little hats and socks, and anyways, he's shipping, he's out, people are getting him, there's lots of pictures online, 
It seems like he has a very bad knee issue with standing up instability, which causes just the simplest of touches to topple him over. But Fouche had a nice little fix tutorial for it where you just pop off one of the uh, leg covers, tighten it for a regular uh, Phillips screwdriver, and you're in business pretty much. So happy to see that we're not really out here wasting hundreds of dollars on a HasLab that um, isn't even a good HasLab. So nice to hear that there's already some community fixes and they're relatively easy ones. Nothing to worry about breaking apart your expensive one-of-a-kind figure. And oh boy, did we have some fun reveals. Really, oh my goodness. Y'all can see shit. The illusion of the green screen is gone. Next, we have the retro Spider-Man carded wave that just got announced yesterday. Uh, very, very, very cool. I like all the suits we're coming out here with. Um, Jay Hernandez, which is my biggest fear of getting into this YouTube thing of people thinking I'm stealing this flow when my legal name is actually just Jay. But um, we'll see how that unfolds. <laughs> he, he revealed that first. That was a very fun video showing off the articulation for him. So happy they're reusing the original Spider-Man mold from the retro carded wave that we first got. It's just kind of insulting every single time we get a new retro carded Spider-Man and Hasbro gives us the open hands that they did not give us for that first one. It's just insulting because you see it on every other Spider-Man now. We also have the armored Spider-Man, which comes with some pretty sweet uh, web effects. I think he comes with two of them. They kind of have that little splatter look. So if you want to do some maybe photography of I don't know, Spider-Man beating up some stuff and he has his camera on the wall taking some photos or something, boom, you can do that kind of easy with that, easy peasy. I'm just happy to have a lot of fun, nice moving Spider-Man in the collection because after Spider-Verse came out, you know, you don't really need an excuse to have a shelf full of Spider-Man. Great stuff. We're also getting Hammerhead in the wave. I'm gonna be honest guys, I could care less about this one. I know a lot of people would want him for their animated display. I only buy suit guys because I want the suit bodies, and this is not really a suit that I need in my collection. It's a nice looking mold. Um, old Jay used to buy figures just for their accessories, and Old Jay didn't have a baseball bat, but New Jay has since gotten like four baseball bats in his giant bag of accessories, so um, I'm good on this one. But we're getting Shocker, and I'm happy for that one too. I don't have him. Uh, he's a little expensive now on the aftermarket because of the wave he was in. But this one's very nice. You get some alternate gauntlet hands for him, too, and just the signature little Marvel Legends interchangeable magic slash energy slash power effects that they pretty much use in everyone. I'd like some new effects by now, guys. I look at the Power Rangers Lightning Collection every single freaking day, and my goodness, they have some sweet lightning effects. Why don't you guys just send some emails, transfer some CAD files? I don't know. It's a business. Print some money out. Ben Riley Spider Man. Can I get a yes? Ben Riley. Best spider suit. Best spider suit. I don't know what to tell you. Best spider suit. The web shooters, the design, the spider carnage head. Ha! Lastly, we're getting Hobgoblin in the wave. Uh, most people are expecting this. You're not going to really have an animated retro carded wave without old Hobby, because, you know, he was just a mainstay in that TV show that's kind of all going off with the color designs and everything. I'm a fan of this a lot. I like that we got a new glider form that's pretty animation accurate form. I appreciate that a lot. I'm just not really a fan of his head sculpt. It just looks a little funky to me. Maybe it just looks a little too yellow. I don't know. I might have to hit him some black wash when I get it in hand, because I will be getting it regardless. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, great, awesome, all-around figure. Happy we're getting it. I couldn't be more pleased with this wave. The only one I would really have swapped out would have been Hammerhead. And who would I have wanted to swap him out with? Hmm. Ooh. Retro carded Craven. That would have been it. That would have been the last one to make this wave absolutely perfect for me. On top of that, they uh, decided to show us at the end of the stream that we are going to be getting two new builders. Well, we already knew about these, but, you know, we're getting the solicitations for them to be up. I think they're up for pre-order today. But we're getting the scroll builder, which is pretty cool. Uh, he's got a nice BFG 
and a little tiny ray gun to shoot. I've got a super scroll. I've been waiting for this to happen so I can get the team all together. This will be fun when Galactus finally comes in. The cosmic shelf is, you know, slowly building itself up all the way. On top of that, we're getting a shield army builder as a two pack. Comes with two agents, two different alternate helmeted heads, and I think two or three unmasked heads on top of that, which is great if you just need some extra heads for fodder too. I mean, it is army building, real great stuff. A couple pistols, three different two-handed weapons. Um, it's a nice, fun two-pack. I might buy them just to customize them to make them into little cyberpunky officers in my different displays. I don't know what the price is for them, but they should be up on Hasbro Pulse when this video is up. Hopefully, they don't sell out. Ha! I just love the colors on this thing. Stepping into some of my favorite territory here, the Transformers. Now, uh, we just recently got some leaks. Well, not leaks, actually. I mean, they're out on shelves, but Waspinator and... What's the name? Shadow Cat? Or am I confusing the Marvel Legends stuff right now? Either way, someone on a Facebook group has found them in stores. I believe it was in Texas I seen that. Can I talk to you guys about something serious here real quick? Transformers. You see this right here? This is a perfect perfect mold. Uh, Huffer. You just don't mess around with him. Great, great movement on this guy, great articulation, fun transformation, and just overall great energy on this guy. And Hasbro and Takar Tommy made the wonderful decision to pump out three more additional versions of this guy in different color schemes and slight variations of the mold. And boy, I couldn't be happier. <laughs> We're getting a lot of leaked pictures of them out from uh, people overseas. They look beautiful all together. On the Mezco side of things, we just got that Hawk P40 come out. Uh, he was one of those ones where, you know, he gave it to a YouTuber first, he got a review out for it to build the hype, and got put up the next day and was pretty much shipping immediately. It comes with two alternate heads, a bunch of alternate hands. I'm a big fan of that alternate tank and I really wasn't wanting him at first until I really was scrolling through the pictures like wow that actually looks pretty nice on him I just wasn't a fan of the paint on the little shark head they did there it's designed after um someone at Mezco's tattoo artist they just told them to come up with an action figure design and that cool thing came out really dig that I hope they have this guy design more action figures because uh ingenious especially if you guys can pull it off of articulation and cloth goods my goodness it's got a lot of detail on him he's just dripping style from his little bomber jacket to his camo pants with the little uh, designs on the knees and whatnot and you know you're talking to MechaRive here I love me a cyborg a uh, cybernetic enthusiast here so he was 95 if you want him now you're gonna be put on the wait list everyone that got him he, he's shipping already now to him pretty much lastly we have our Cosmic Legions these were teased over the last couple of weeks here with promo images from One Six Shooter on Instagram and the Four Horsemen's official page. But on Friday, we got an official live stream at 9 to show off everything in detail. The Four Horsemen are there to tell us about the universe that they're building, the different characters that are living in it, and of course, showed off some plastic to us. I'm really, 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 really liking this design. I like Mythic Legions, but uh, you know, I'm always more of a sci-fi guy over fantasy. I didn't really like Lord of the Rings as a kid, like that's how deep it is. This stuff is very cool to me. I really like Slog a lot, that big meaty heavy booger boy that they designed. Uh, Olek looks pretty cool, he seems to be the protagonist of the story that they're pitching, but who knows how it goes, because they're saying they're divided into books or video game levels, so maybe this guy dies in the first book, who knows. Yeah, I'm a big fan of the Sphyxian, Sphyxian, Sphinx? Maybe I've been watching too much Adventure Bros. Uh, I love me some big bug boys, and these are some beautiful bug boys. Let me tell you something. The blues on them just sparkle very nicely, and the little block commander version they have with those nice watermelon green wings is top freaking notch. I know I will be going all in. Well, if not, I'll be getting like doubles or triples of some characters. I'm gonna need a whole army of bug boys. That's the damn show. All right, mecha lights. <laughs> <gasps> in conclusion but yeah plan on doing this every week we're gonna talk about all the new releases pre-orders stuff that's going in stock just fun news in general 
expect to see this weekly. It's either going to be an upload on Tuesdays or Thursdays, so we can get that nice triple T in the title here. But that's going to be it for today. Sorry our time was so short. I wish I could see you more, but you know, I got to move on. I got to edit the video so you can see it. But in the meantime, you know, don't be toxic, y'all. Remember, we're all just adults collecting plastic. It's not that big of a deal. And don't scalp either. Doodles. I've been just sitting on my bed watching YouTube videos, and I've just watched Atheon just do a backflip. <laughs> I mean, Aerithia just do a backflip out of nowhere. Like, because he's on two McFarland stands, and he'll just be there, and all of a sudden he'll just be like, <laughs> and just like flip out for no reason. Well, I like, think. I, and these guys have crazier legs. I'm scared a little bit. Like, I think.